Kunal. Every time you're on the phone, get out of it. But there's a place which has 4.9 on Google. What place? It's called Fermentation Stories, and they serve pizzas, sandwiches, and what not. Fermentation Stories. That sounds interesting. Pizzas. You know I love pizzas. And what are the fermenting? So let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Is that the place? Yes. Okay. What? Where do I sit? There. Project V. So this place is more of my style than your style. Why? Because there's no fine dining. Yeah, and uh, the food, food is actually the hero here. I don't mind that, Kunal. I love food that really speaks for itself. It does not have to be the most fancy place. But you know what? I'll have to tell you, even without <laughs> the fine dining, fermentation stories looks actually very aesthetic. Even in the little space that they've done up, the pizzas for me look intriguing because fermentation stories. And don't you think the word says? Yeah, means and there are a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. And the process is very simple. They just don't serve pizzas. They have sandwiches and a whole lot of menu and they were. Huge menu here: appetizers, salads, calzones, sandwiches, pizzas, desserts, and beverages. We'll go to that part, but the main formula of how they do pizzas is here. So their dough is fermented for 20 plus hours. Hence the name fermentation stories. So yeah. I think the interesting part would be to see how that fermentation. Turns out in their pizzas, and whether yes. it actually makes yeah, this a standout pizza. Correct. 20 hours of fermentation, 3 minutes of stretching, and gourmet awesome. toppings at a very economical price. You are getting a gourmet product at a very economical price, and let's see how it is done. Thank you. I wanted a caprese salad, but there is a twist to it here. Let's see what it is. What is this? I asked for a caprese salad, Kunal. Ah, uh, this is a caprese sandwich. A sandwich. Let's check it out. So, guys, this is a caprese sandwich, just like a typical caprese salad. There's mozzarella cheese and there's tomatoes. A lot of fine dining places do it with a burrata, but this one has a mozzarella uh, slice. It's a traditional way. It's a traditional way, and you can see here this uh, pesto aioli, which is like a flavor bomb. I can't wait to dig into it. And you can also see a bunch of basil leaves all thrown in there. What is amazing is the char they've got on this grill. I love the technique used. It's very crunchy on the outside, yet it's soft. Was it sourdough bread? Yeah. Yeah, sourdough bread. Can't wait to try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Love it. Huh? Absolutely love it. There are a lot of tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. The mozzarella, mozzarella is fresh. It's oozing out. They have something else more than the tomato. I think it's a it's a vinaigrette. Yeah, it's a vinaigrette which is bringing in a, all the flavors together. It's a balsamic and, vinaigrette. Yeah. And then there's the pesto. Pesto aioli. aioli. So with the beautiful crunch and you have that smokiness from the bread actually with the char grill yeah. and then you have the tomato That's where very it's fresh. it's very fresh and you are not getting that much of tart from it and there is something acidic which is bringing in all the flavors from everywhere like you see now uh, your cheese will give you your cheese is quite salty and there is this uh, pesto aioli It's something. It's basically a twist to regular caprese. Mm -hmm. 
I think I love the texture of the bread, yeah. the butteriness of the bread with the mozzarella. Correct. There's that freshness with the tomato. Yeah. And then there's a punch of the aioli. Aioli. Okay. Very flavorful. Very flavorful, and this is this stands apart. This is beautiful. Highly recommended. So chef, what are we uh, witnessing to see now? So we are making a mushroom panuzo right now. Okay. So, panuzo is basically a sandwich made out of pizza dough. Okay. So we'll be with assorted filling of mushrooms and arugula. Okay. So we'll make it. So I've asked for a mushroom panuzo. You have options of. Uh, uh, we have options with lamb, chi chicken, and mixed veg. Okay. Yeah. Mixed veg. Do you have lamb panuzo also? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So as of now. Uh, we'll eat lamb later. Okay. So, so I'll make the mushroom one. We'll make the mushroom yeah. and chicken is better. The I prefer uh, mushrooms over chicken yeah. any day. Okay. Uh, now on the melting mozzarella, we've had uh, chef has added uh, pesto. Now some lettuce is going on. Okay. Right. And for mushrooms, so we are are we adding mushrooms now? Yes. These are sauteed mushrooms with a lot of caramelized onions is what I see. Yeah, with some chilies and sun-dried tomatoes. Chilies and sun-dried tomatoes also. Nice. And uh, my mouth's just watering looking at this. So after this we have the arugula leaves yeah. we'll finish to with top it off. Arugula and some olive oil. Okay. Sprinkle of olive oil. We are just using it. So this is not exactly a calzone. No, this is not a calzone. This is yeah. called as panuzo. Panuzo. So this is more of a sandwich made with uh, the pizza dough. Yeah. Look at the beautiful layering of this panuzo. So you have mozzarella on top of the pizza dough. Then you have lettuce. On top of that, you have mushrooms, but in between, there is a bit of pesto which is hiding from us. Mm. So, how do you feel? Wow! I like a lot of smokiness, caramelization. I feel there is a lot of Indianness, Indianness to it. Because of the local chilies that are used. To saute the mushrooms. But for me, what stands out is the caramelization of the onions, caramelization of the mushrooms. Yeah. Because they've been sauteed so well. But also, there's a bit of freshness from the lettuce. There's that heat from the pepper and yeah. the chilies. But I think what's also interesting is the actual bread that Correct. you know goes into making the ponozo yeah. sandwich. Ponozo is a Italian sandwich. Again, I think they're using sourdough yeah. to sourdough. make their bread. It's fluffy, yet there's a crust because of the, you know, bake in the yeah. oven. The mushroom is not giving us that much of an umami hit, but there is a lot of Indianness and they they see mushroom feelers. Yeah. yeah, can be sought here. So I think because they use locally sourced <laughs> ingredients into making some international food, you get a bit of both. You get the continental yeah. uh, feel as well as the desi flavors because and of that chili and that onion. Yes, this is absolutely gourmet, but slightly localized. We give a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> so what we have here is a very interesting beverage that I think you have to try it because you don't get it everywhere. It's called the Cascara Cooler. Cascara is basically the outer skin in coffee. Uh, but this is actually a tea. So it's a very interesting, weird hybrid between a coffee and a tea. Um, I'm going to try it out. Let's see how it tastes. Let's try it. Mmm, that is so good. I think it's really a cooler that's much required for this summer. It's already hot. Uh, what I love about this cooler is I think my interpretation would be it's almost like a carbonated iced tea but it's also got a bit of the tang that's coming from the cascara. Uh, I was conversing with the chef and I think he also said people relate cascara almost to kokum for its tangy nature. But yeah, this is almost like a very nice cooling, uh, fresh breather for the summer. You should try it. 
So as I see that uh, you mentioned that your dough is made, uh, yeah. fermented for more than 20 hours. Yes. And that's where the tale of fermented fermentation stories comes from. Yes. And uh, so we've ordered two pizzas. Okay. One is the roast, uh, roasted lamb burger yeah. for me. And I don't know what she has ordered. Yeah. Do you know what? She ordered the devil's delight. Devil's delight, okay. Yeah. The devil has ordered the devil, okay, fine, let's okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make a half and half pizza. Yeah. Us. So we'll make a half and half. Yeah. Yeah. So half and half pizza. Sure. Okay. So this dough is fermented for. We ferment it at least for 24 hours. At least for 24 yeah. hours. But on a standard basis, we keep it for two days, like 48 okay. hours. So this is sourdough. Uh, so and look at that uh, fluffiness, whatever I'm seeing. And you'll need this for three minutes, is it? Yeah. Within three minutes, we'll finish off the kneading and topping. Okay. And, and it is baked in like 400 degrees okay. just for 90 seconds, like one and a half minutes, not 90 more than seconds that. Yeah. and the pizza is done. Yeah. And uh, see, what, all, all the dishes, whatever we have eaten now, yeah. since this is a pickup joint, yeah. uh, so what I feel is it's very apt for a pickup because... Yeah, so we curated the whole menu, keeping that in mind, like yeah. it has to be for a takeaway yeah. kind of thing. Because sourdough pizzas, not everyone would perfect it. Yeah. And I hope you're looking at this uh, fluff here. And this is just a uh, this is a beauty to just look at it. You know, stretching of the dough and yeah. each and everything. So it is like a complicated process. Of course. It's because it's our dough. Because like yeah. there are so much aspects involved in this. Okay. So even a climatic change, the even if it rains, there is a yeah, complication, is in, complication the in that. Even if it rains, you say there is a complication in the dough. Yeah, it won't raise properly. So the variations in the room temperature affects the final product a lot. Okay. Yeah. So do you have separate apparatus like uh, uh, temperature to keep the humidity and temperature? No, we just manage it somehow, like with the room, uh, with keeping it outside in the room temperature, switching to the refrigerator. Okay. And this is the marinara going on top of the dough. Yeah. So how do you make your marinara? So if you are okay to share it, you yeah, can yeah, tell no us. Worries. So we we use both the San Marzano canned tomatoes and the local tomatoes. Yeah. So the sauce is cooked. It's not like uncooked, like Correct. a traditional Neapolitan sauce. Correct. So we cook our sauce. Actually. Yeah. And chef, all the dishes, whatever I see here, yeah. are priced at not more than six hundred rupees. Yeah. So, what is the secret? You are uh, providing everything gourmet here. Yeah. Like uh, sour, you are using sourdough, which is fermented for 48 hours. Yeah. And uh, a lot of uh, this is being involved here. Like, for example, costly ingredients are also being involved. Like, for example, the pesto sauce. Yeah. And come, you are using San Marzano tomatoes. Of yeah. course, you are using the Indian ones too. Yeah. But how can you sustain with these prices? Is what I want. Uh, uh, since like we were we are working in a very small team, mm -hmm. uh, like we cut down all our overheads and all those things, we basically wanted to invest on the ingredients. Then so since, overheads, yeah. yeah, so uh, <laughs> the setting up an ambience and all those kind of stuff was like easy for Correct. us. It is not so expensive, or we spend yeah. so much or something like that. Since we are using all the gourmet products, so we have truffle oil, we have good cheese. Yeah, I've tasted oil. your. Uh, Truffle aioli, if yeah. I'm not wrong. That yeah. was something that was an umami bomb and yeah. it was so beautiful. And this is the devil's delight, if I'm yeah, not so wrong. This half is devil's delight. So, what is there in the devil's delight? So, so I see jalapenos, peppers. Yeah, and some green chilies. And so, mix of green chilies also. Yes. Okay. So, and some roasted bell peppers going into that. Okay. And the other half is the lamb pizza. The lamb. So, the, the lamb is spiced and marinated. Similar to the Vindalu kind of Indianized bow and spice. Okay. So it's a lamb Vindalu is what we can say. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the lamb is slow roasted for four hours. Okay. So there's again some cheese and cheese going into this. So we've added the, the these tiny cubes are mozzarella. Yeah. And that one is the the, the buffalo mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella. Yeah. So there's some olive oil going into I see this is a 12 inch pizza. Yes. Okay. That gives a much creamier and a better perspective for a pizza. Yes. The buffalo mozzarella. So now it 
goes into the oven. So now in this oven, yeah. this pizza is baked exactly for 90 seconds. Yes. Not more than that. Not more than that. And it's exactly 90 seconds or probably a uh, little less uh, than 90 um, seconds. See how beautifully this is getting baked. Like, you are seeing the fluff being raised. The pizza just looks so beautiful. And uh, Chef, I and just such good pizza. looking pizzas. And of course, it looks good. And we'll have to see how good it tastes. And it's 4.9, so I think it's gonna do a phenomenal job. It tastes as good as it looks, maybe, or even better. Jula, finishing the lamb pizza with some maragulas. Okay. The devil doesn't need aragula, is it? Yes. <laughs> Some feta cheese on top. Some feta for the, the lamb. salt again. Yes. And to the devil's delight, we are going in with some sun dried tomatoes. Okay. Some sun dried tomatoes on the devil's delight. Yeah. And we finish it with the dehydrated black olives. So these are dehydrated black olives. Yes. Right? Can you please show us this dehydrated if you can look at it from a yeah. near side? Sure. Yeah. So we are dehydrating it in the oven in a very slow temperature okay and then we are kind of powdering it yeah. like a sprinkle on yeah. what is the pre flavor profile from uh, the original from the fresh or from fresh olives to dehydrated ones no when you get it in a brine actually it has that vinegary kind of tangy okay. notes so when we dehydrate it it gives much more intense flavor okay. compared to our olives in a brine or something. Oh. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. So we'll I'll go with yeah. for the pizza and a bit of uh, olive oil sprinkle. The devil got the devil's delight. The lamb has got the roasted ram pizza. I'm a lamb. Let's move on. <laughs> so ladies, first you tell me how your pizza is. Let me eat. Mm. I love this slice of pizza. Uh -huh. Juicy, the marinara sauce, the mozzarella. What is juicy? I have a lamb. It should be juicy more than that. Oh yeah, give it a shot. Okay. So no, no, no. It's okay. I'll do it later. Tell me what it is. So it's got a very good topping of a lot of exotic vegetables, uh -huh. including some jalapenos. But the most interesting part for me on this pizza are the dehydrated olives. Okay. Have you ever had dehydrated yes, uh, olives? Yes. So. I, I, I want to just taste the dehydrated olive and see how it goes. It's yum. It's yum and basically it's, it's a little chewy. That fresh olive taste is in the aftertaste. Yeah. And initially it is. It's a little smoky. It's smoky. Yeah, it's smoky. And let's dig into the roasted lamb pizza. The beautiful buffalo mozzarella. The marinara and the roasted lamb, which has a vindalu, is what they said. Vindalu. vindalu? Pork, instead of pork vindalu, we have a lamb vindalu. And. Uh, mm. I see some feta cheese. Is that feta? There's some feta cheese. There's arugula leaves. I see. The marinara takes a side place here. But what comes into the picture? is the lamb. This lamb is beautifully done and the vindaloo flavor has gone very deep inside this lamb with the feta on top like a crown sitting on this uh, lamb. This is a beauty. Uh, the arugula is there and it, it's always on the end. Uh, the arugula is on, uh, it's always on the end and it uh, makes me feel like I have to take another bite, so the arugula goes away, but it's a beautiful way. Beautiful pizza. The sourdough has to be praised here, guys. Look at this Quite beauty. soft. Uh, it's airy. I think it's very airy. It's yeah. soft. I think that's why when I took the first bite of that pizza, yeah. I, I felt like it was very melt-in-the-mouth sort of a feeling. And I can, I can say this is a pretty good sourdough pizza. And also, they use multi-grain 
bread, uh, multi grains to make their sourdough here. Mm. So let us enjoy the pizza and see you guys later. So for dessert, we recommend you try their tiramisu. They don't have a lot of options, but I think this is a good box of sweetness that you have to try. Okay, okay, fine. Come, let's start. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What do you say about the mascarpone cheese? Mm. I see beautiful layering here. Mm. The layers are distinct, nice. They've used lady fingers. The proportion, I think the yeah. ratio proportion to the lady finger and the mascarpone cheese is pretty good. So I don't think they've done the very traditional way of uh, tiramisu making. This is more the globally popular way of making it, which is to put in the layers and sort of let it sit. Uh, for a couple of hours, so all the I think coffee gets soaked yeah, in the by kalua, the basically. I don't think they no, they are not using kalua. They don't use kalua here. They use just the, coffee and apparently a bit of rum. Yeah, dark rum. Dark rum. So it's a very good tiramisu. Like I would definitely end my meal with something like this. And I would say. You're speechless. <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually gonna say ah ha ha ha. So the first video of Project V, v. not V, but v, <laughs> v, comes is, to an end. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Like, uh, I know we started off understanding and getting excited with the fact that it's a 4.9. Yeah. Um, and you, the main thing for me, which I was delighted, was the devil chose the devil's delight. Rubbish. I think what stood out for me is the concept fermentation stories. Um, so they essentially make pizza, sandwiches, coffee, everything fermented. So even the coffee we had was fermented coffee. So yeah. I like the concept. Everything here basically uses the fermentation technique. I think overall it's a definite big thumbs up. Yes, and I would say 4.9. It lives deserves, up to it. It, it lives up to it. You will be satisfied with any dish you pick, and more than anything, it's a great takeout um, for gourmet food. And so, yeah. uh, the prices are lesser relative to any other place, any other place yeah. because it's a takeaway, but it's gourmet. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so I'm going to do my conclusion. Watch and learn. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for everyone. For watching our episode, wait until we come back with another episode. Say bye. Bye.